a firefighter dies in the line of duty, departments always review the incident to make sure mistakes are not repeated. Uh, what they find is also shared with the family before being made public. Nine on your side's Tom McKee is live right now with how Daryl Gordon's family is reacting to this report. Tom? Well, colleagues say Daryl Gordon always believed that constant training is the key to becoming a more effective firefighter. And constant training is what he's going to be remembered as through the Cincinnati Fire Department. And his family? Well, the family is taking great comfort in that news. Daryl Gordon was helping search for victims in a Madisonville apartment building when he fell into an elevator shaft. The tragedy prompted department leaders to undertake a thorough review of what happened. Assistant Chief Tom Laycamp was a member of the team. You know, we suffered a loss back in March, and now we're going to um, suffer again by reliving it and then uh, dedicating this to Daryl. Chief Richard Braun says department leaders personally shared the line of duty death report with Gordon's family 10 days ago. As you can imagine, it was a very trying time for her. Uh, it had been a year, and so it was dredging up uh, old memories and, and emotions. The Gordons have been public people despite their grief. Wife Angela helped dedicate a plaque in Daryl's memory at fire headquarters downtown several weeks ago. And they've gone to several other uh, events uh, around the state and the, and the country uh, honoring our fallen firefighters. And Angela said that that is very comforting to her. It's very healing. The report contains 44 recommendations for change, many of which have already been implemented. It's not easy to take a look at yourself and try to find flaws. Better communication, better equipment, better procedures, better training. That may save firefighter lives. That's what's driving District Chief Greg Potter and those who knew Gordon well. We want to get out and do a lot more training with our guys, build that muscle memory, make us better, and to honor Daryl by doing that. And I promised his wife, <sighs> that's what we do. Obviously, as you can see, very, very emotional even today for the firefighters. Coming up new at 6, this report also contains brand new information on exactly what happened on that fifth floor before Daryl Gordon fell down the elevator shaft. Tom McKean, 9 on your side, live at the Cincinnati Firefighter Memorial.